Prra. What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today I have 6 stories coming out of the subreddit I don't work here lady. The next goal for this channel is 2500 subscribers and to celebrate this awesome milestone I would be giving away 4 Amazon gift cards because come on, I'm not going to wire transfer some money like it needs to be a gift at least. <laughs> if you enjoy my videos and want to support what we do here, leave a fire emoji in the comments and like this video. Congratulations Josh for the comment of the day. Prra. But I can help you as I see the staff are not being useful. I work as a doctor in the ER of a big local hospital. I was at a community pharmacy picking up flu shots for my family. Flu shots are DIY at my place. The assistant calls over the pharmacist and they ask to see my medical ID. I guess they were thinking I am some maniac hoarding illegal flu vaccines or something. I would have been waiting my rights to refuse, but whatever. The pharmacy assistants especially seem to be trying hard to be snotty and unfriendly, but whatever. As I wait, a young lady comes in, clearly in some discomfort, and hands in a prescription. Snotty assistant looks at it and declares it was written improperly by the doctor and they will not be able to fill it. It is now 7 in the afternoon and her own doctor is not open. Snotty shrugs and says, Go to the ER and get another one then, since the hospital doctor wrote this one. In pain, the lady explained that she had abdominal surgery two days ago and they only gave her one day of tablets for pain on discharge. There are no other people in the pharmacy and the staff resume standing around chatting. Lady in pain starts to walk out when I stop her and I tell her I might be able to help and ask to see her script. It did cross my mind to just rewrite it for her correctly but she is not my patient and could be a problem if the pharmacist wants to complain. I always have a couple of blank prescriptions in my wallet for friends and the like. I ring the hospital, speak to the doctor who wrote it and ask Snutty for the pharmacy fax number. Snutty picks up the fax 5 minutes later, sighs deeply and tries to explain to me why she or the pharmacist could not have done the same. I smile and just say, if your default is kind, you really can't go wrong. What I was thinking was, screw yourself, screw yourself. Screw yourself, bad girl. Hold up, I thought the doctor was being a bit shady and making a fake prescription. But in the end, he did it perfectly legally, so the pharmacists are at blame here. At this point, I am pretty convinced the pharmacist could have done the same on her own because she went out of her way to say that she could not do it on her own. And to me, that sounds shady. This was not really a I don't work your lady situation, but you were definitely acting like a Karen. A lazy, entitled brat. You just wanted to chat around with your co-workers. Yes, I did say entitled because it was not you or your co-workers that needed help. It was just a stranger that was in pain and that needed maybe 5 minutes of your help. I might be wrong, it can be easy to judge a situation from apart, but that's my take on this. I'm sorry I don't work here, so this means I must be stealing? This happened about 3 days ago. I am only 13 and on this specific day of school, we had an early release so my BFF and I went to the shop just down the road. Wow, it's been a long time since I did not say BFF. The entitled lady will be EBL, me will be me, my friend will be BFF and the worker will be W. The entitled lady pushes me. How much are these? I don't know, why should I? You have eyes, use them. <gasps> How dare you talk to me like that? I'm sorry, didn't you just push me, demand me to tell you something and assume I work here? And I am the rude one? Hi, uh, what's going on? Is there a problem? I need this brat Fired. She was rude and threw these sweets at me. Oh, come on. You know that's not true. You put her and demanded that she tells you how much these cost and then got angry at her. What is wrong with you? Hmm. Is that true? Now you should know there are no cameras there apart from right at the front by the counter so it was our word against hers. <laughs> of course it is, why would I lie? Now please fire her. Well I'm sorry ma'am but she does not work here. She's a school kid and she comes here pretty often. What do you mean of course she does? She's here now isn't she? Yeah we got let out early. Yeah well anyway she was stealing. What the hell? No she wasn't. Neither of us were, you're messed up. Luckily, we were good friends with the worker and he knew we will not do anything. In fact, sometimes he gave us free sweets. Look, I'm sorry ma'am, but you're going to have to leave. Ugh, I can't believe the service here. And she left. Hmm, you 
to all right. I'm sure we'll be okay with some chocolate. <laughs> Take it and enjoy your holiday. That's a good worker and that's an endowed lady. Thank you worker for being awesome and screw you lady for causing mess and trying to lie to pretend that they were stealing. That is plain dishonest behavior. Not only did you try to fire those kids for your entitlement, but you tried to say they committed crimes? But this number is on the flyer. So I am faffing about on the internet when the landline rings. The landline is only there for emergencies and only ever rings for one reason, a wrong number. 9 out of 10 times it is somebody trying to reach some sort of a party store with a similar number to mine. And when I explain that I am not a party store, that's the end of it. I know this will happen, but I am bored. So I pick up the phone anyway. Hello? Yes, I would like to rent an inflatable water slide. Can you tell me how much that costs? Evidently, this party store really knows how to do it upright. I mean, freaking water slide? I'm sorry, you have the wrong phone number. I will be lying if I said that there was not some small part of me hoping for what came next. Are you sure? I look around me, just to double check. Nope, still just my living room. Sadly devoid of water slides. Yes. But this is the number on the business card I have. I'm sorry, but you're trying to reach a party store, yes? Yes, this store located in that city. Is this not this phone number? Yes, that's the number you called, but I am in a different city and I am not a party store and I do not have any inflatables. But this is one of two numbers on the business card I have and it was on the flyers that I found on the street. I reflect briefly on what this dude could say to me that would convince me that I actually have been an inflatables rental service this entire time. I come up empty. Well, I did not make any flyers or business cards with my number on them. I am not in that city, so I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Out of curiosity though, you mentioned a second number for this place you're trying to call. Can I have it? Sure. Which number do you want? I say some polite yet still incredulous version of the number that we are not currently talking on. Yet yeah, ding, the guy gives out the other number. Thanks, hope you find what you're looking for. He grumbles and hangs up. I am still not sure what to be more impressed by. The fact that this guy wanted to argue with me over whether I was a water slide rental or whether he was prepared to read out the number to the phone line he was currently talking to. Some people. Epilogue. I found the real number for the party store and confirmed that they could rent me a water slide if I was so inclined and that they used to have my home phone number. And though they no longer use it, it is still listed on some of their old advertising material. The number that the dude actually gave me over the phone was also wrong. It had two numbers transposed from the actual number and I had to find the rental place on Google to figure out what was that. I imagine that poor dude is still calling random numbers to this day. Completely baffled as to why nobody can help him with a water slide. Karen upgrades herself from idiot troll. I am doing my grocery shopping, minding my own business, and someone taps me on my shoulder hard. While I was wearing a black t-shirt and black cargo pants at a Walmart, what I was missing was the cheerful blue or yellow vest. Given my lack of said vest and a name tag, I thought most people would be smart enough to realize I was not a store employee. Apparently, I was wrong. Anyway, I turn and here is a woman 5 foot nothing, at least 200 pounds, with the get me your manager haircut. <clears throat> Where are these spices? Hell if I know, they have moved them around. Uh, you work here? You should know where they are. And drop this snotty tone, you little brat, or I will see you fired. I'm just a customer lady. Find a staffer to help you, okay? And I turn back to my cart. Fine, I try to ask nicely, but you fat Walmart slubs don't know how to treat your betters, it seems. Get me your manager. So I turn back to this woman. Listen, you hideous troll. I do not work here. Piss off. She sputtered for a minute, stormed off and left her card. I went back to my shopping. 10 minutes and 3 hours later, here she comes again, with a duty manager in tow. There he is! That's the obnoxious fat ass that called me an ugly girl! I want him fired! Actually lady, I called you a hideous troll. He does not work here ma'am. At this point, their Karen went nuclear and almost fainted. It was beautiful. <laughs> what do you mean it was beautiful? Are you wishing bad fate on someone else? Yes, yes you are. 
and it's not that okay. But if it's a Karen, I mean, I might close my eyes. There are some entitled people who are not meant for this society, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't quote me on this. <laughs> but what you can quote me on is subscribe to the channel. Come on, man. 75% of my viewers, that means probably you, is not subscribed to my channel. So what is wrong with me? Is it my voice? Like... <laughs> Is it my accent? <laughs> I'm trying so hard and 75% of you guys don't care about me. Like, am I not worth to appear in your newsfeed? Oh, newsfeed is for Facebook. I meant homepage. Anyway, you can or you cannot do it, it's fine, but let's get to the next story. Lady, I am just talking things for my friend. This story is about 6 years old, but I still remember it. I have only just posted it since I just got an account. It is not my only adult work your story. I've got two others. This was just the first one that happened to me. M is for me, duh. F is for my friend, CW for my friend's co-worker, and L for the lady who thinks I work there. Anyway, I was 18 and at a hot topic waiting for my friend, who asked me to pick them up since his car broke a few days before, and was just looking around to see if I wanted anything. I saw my friend struggling with a couple boxes and decided to help him, so I grabbed the top box that was slightly open. I looked at what's inside, which is a bunch of random accessories, and said I will put them up for him since his only co-worker was at the cash register, and I had worked thereabouts quit a few days prior, so if the manager was there, I probably would not have gotten yelled at. So, as I am putting some necklaces up, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn, expecting it to be my friend, but instead, I see a girl with bright pastel hair. I kinda thought she was lost until I saw the dress she was wearing. It was my neighbor Totoro. I figure she wanted to look at the jewelry, so our conversation went as follow. Oh, sorry, was I in your way? No. I was just curious if you have any of this shirt in small. She then held up a band shirt that tag said large. I'm sorry, I, I don't know as I don't work here. But you were just restocking. Oh, uh, I was doing that for my friend as he needed help. You could ask him if there's any of that shirt in small. Don't you lie to me. You just don't want to help me because I look like I'm too girly to be in here. Look lady, I don't think you're too girly to be in here. But as I said, I don't work here. Just as I said that, my friend and his co-worker came to my rescue. Is there a problem ma'am? Yes, your co-worker here is being rude. Hmm, she's not my co-worker. But she was restocking the jewelry. Oh, she was helping me. I get off work soon and ask her to drive me home. She was just helping so that we can go home soon. At this point, the lady had a look of realization pass over her face and just dropped the shirt, apologized and left. I picked the shirt up and asked my friend to get me a small of it. He did and I bought it along with a few pieces of jewelry that I had liked from when I was stocking them, along with a few buttons to add to my collection. My friend told me he had to stay a bit longer since his older co-worker had not shown up yet. So I left and told him to message me when he was done and then I went to find their lady. I saw her entertaining a chocolate shop and went in after her. As she got in line, I went right behind her and, like she did to me earlier, tap her shoulder. She turned and looked surprised to see me. Look, I already apologized and again, I'm sorry. I did not let her finish as I pulled her shirt out of my bag. It's okay. Here, I got it for you. It's the size you wanted as well. Oh no! I could not, I was rude and you should not have gotten it for me. Please, I insist. Well then, thanks, but at least let me get you some chocolate as a better thank you. <laughs> sure. She got me some sea salt caramel chocolates. Then we went to the food court and had a pleasant conversation. I found out a few things about her. Her name was Charlotte, she's bisexual, she liked animals and as it turns out, it was her time of the month and she was a little pissed since she did not have any painkillers. Now 6 years later, me and Charlotte, Lovey as I call her, are married with 5 dogs and still find it funny about how we met. I know this is not an exciting story but as I said before, I've got 2 others and eventually I will post them as well. Wait. What? That lady was supposed to be a Karen, and now they are married? Okay, turns out she was not a Karen, she was just a little pissed, and I can get it. If I am a little pissed, I, I can be pretty annoying to be honest. So I understand why maybe she reacted this way because she was pissed. Turns out, she's not a Karen after all, she's a nice girl. But most importantly, congratulations on the marriage, that's 
amazing. It is nice from time to time to get a wholesome story. I love them. Hey, did you like this Adult Worker Lady video? Well, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, have fun, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.